some serious amount of damage early on. He's very annoying, but like post uh, six minutes until he gets his shard, he really doesn't do much. Stormhammer onto Katomi. As he's uh, sitting with 75 health at the moment, but right clicking GH pretty heavily, and it looks like it will be first blood for GH, and he's able to leap away from the Darkseer, so Katomi just kind of stood there and fought, but that didn't end up working out for him. Yeah, a bit of a bait. I like this uh, sweeping dart. I didn't mean I like that, but let's see. I don't know. You were asking for a buff <laughs> on sweeping dart just a moment ago. Got that on me. Point strike. Wukong. There it is. Overgrowth on a four with a balance strike on three. They get GH to look for a more. Toby with the vacuum back into the ion shell, and there is two kills for Entity. This is going to be it's a huge combo Cheeky throughout play. the whole game, and also we mentioned it like. Monkey King is farming with the battle. It comes in, pops the Aphotic Shield on uh, Storm Stormer. They've got a lot of heroes here for Entity. It doesn't look as though Ooh, that they this really want to fight. This is a big one. Fight. Storm Stormer does have Arcane Rune. And they know that Sven most likely used ulti for this Roche. Otherwise, they would not have damage. But the combo again. Yeah, Overgrowth into the wall. They go to the Moonlight Shadow, but it's not going to keep Kuroki alive. And they'll already use the Aegis on Sumail. Can he? So, he's he's going to connect. Yeah, they've got the Rolling Thunder. They'll pump him up the into root. the air again. They've got the root from the Shard on oh, Katomi. What they get a beautifully kill. executed combo. Storm Stormer, perfect execution. Rolls. Times that Aegis perfectly. Now they wish they gave Aegis to Amar. Yeah. Root with the Guardian Greaves immediately. So yeah, Nigma. in the last couple of minutes, they are trying to make these fights happen. Look at Kuroki. Arrow, that lands. Fishman's gonna need to give in a Fodic Shield, but they still have the Searing Chains. Now do they have the lockdown? They go to the Manta from Watson, vacuum into the wall, into the Bowless Strike, killing off Kuroki, and Sumail with a Sight of Fist. He's doing a lot of damage with the Maelstrom. He's right in between four of these heroes. Leech Seed, Sight of Fist once again. Not enough damage, though. Sumail will fall, and the Arrow won't connect. So GH, he's in trouble trying to TP out. He was inhibited just a second ago with the Diffusal Blade, so... Well, with the Rolling Thunder and Watson over to the side, they'll get the kill and a little bit of anti-synergy as uh, <laughs> Storm Stormer taking away Watson's tree. It, it was move right now at least. It does look as though Entity's going to be the one going into the pit to try and take this Roche. With that double damage, they have a zoning tool as well. If they pop Wukong's before it dies, Mind Control scouting things out Smoking with again. his spiders, but uh, they're going to smoke. They've got the defusal. It's on to Ricky, the four staff back. That's from GH, but Groki die so quickly and now they've got the root the vacuum back to get a kill on a gh they'll take out two so entity should be right back into the pit one buyback available that's on kuro but i don't think it's enough i think enigma trying to go from different direction these spiders are very annoying they see roshan is dropping low arrow Amar again God with the strength. ulti but blinks backwards away from the Rolling Thunder from Storm Stormer. They go to the BKB. They've got themselves Sumail locked up for a second. Can he get out of this one? The Wukong. They'll get the Aegis. Oh, gets oh my control. He snatched it. Sumail still dies. But how? Everybody was there. There's way too many roots. They're still looking to go for buyback more. The God Sumail. Strength is still going to be there. They'll go with a remnant forward from Sumail. Coming back in with the buyback. They've got five minutes on this Aegis. So they do have themselves a second life out of the Brew Mother. They'll oh, go over to Monkey. But look at the damage. They get the kill out of the Ricky. They will go over to Amar. Amar's getting low. They've got Katomi over to the side. He's trying to get into the trees to get in the root. But they get the kill out of Amar. They'll take out Watson. Down goes the Monkey King. Katomi on the run. Remnant forward. Sumail back with a second life. Because of that buyback. Is able to get a double kill afterwards. Big fight for Enigma Galaxy. They needed to use one buyback uh, before on Entity, especially this Triant Protector. He, he's almost there. Going into refresher. that refresher, yep. Yeah, he's got 10,000 net worth, doing a lot here with uh, his typical Triant farm. Borrowed time's gonna be popped. They go to the Noah Fire as well as the Hex from Mind Control on a Fishman. Looking like a fish out of water at the moment as he gets killed off by Sumail. They go to the Wukong's man with the wall down. They get Amar so quickly. And now, without the Sven, do Nigma even want to fight? Fishman immediate buyback. Amar way too deep in there. He knows that even if he like pops a BKB, Katomi has his number. He has this one job. Boundless strike. Stormcrafter up in the air. Now a remnant back. They look over at Roche once again. Toby with the vacuum. It's on the two. And Katomi goes in with the overgrowth. That also lands on both Kuroki as well as Mind Control. They've got the swashbuckle. They get the kill on Kuroki. They look over at Mind Control. They've got themselves a second. That's a third, including Amar in the previous engagement. And they're going to find a the fourth. Shard There's from... GH going down. Yeah, they found a really good opening. Amar committing, committing heavily to kill this position five of bad and kill his uh, old. Lands. It's only on a Storm Stormer. 
And they've got the Dark Zero. Good side. They're going to go with the God Strength. They go to the Overgrowth from Katomi, though. That lands on a couple of these heroes. They go to the Wukong's Command. Amar needs to survive on this one. He goes to the Lotus Orb. Now he's trying to the ground on a Fishman. But Rolling Thunder used by Storm and Stormer. Hicks. They're in a roach. Look at the Aegis on a Sumail. But they look over at Amar, who's going to be killed off by Storm Stormer. They got themselves their hands on the Aegis. They're going to get the kill here on the GH as well. Up over, though, is Storm Stormer. They've got the smoke screen down. They get the kill. They get the gem out of the hands of Storm Stormer as well as the Glaiveneer is going to go down on two of these heroes. Mind Control, though, vacuum back into the wall. Sleeping Dart doesn't do anything for them. Mind Control gets oh, side of Fist, but still, they've got the Abyssal. They have the Hex. The smoke screen is down, and they'll have Mind oh, Control the on the side. But Sumail, he's going to eat the cheese. He's going to get back to full health. The side of Fist run again as Bound. Oh, borrowed time. From Fishman, keeping him alive. Great here on a three. Kotomi again looking over at Kuroki. The back, back, back. back. They'll get the kill on the Sumail. And now they'll look over at Kuroki and take out this Ricky. They invested everything. Uh, they tried to, like, Sven used his BKB, uses his Satanic, dispels both of the Overgrowth, then gets. Balance Strike, jumping to the edge. They'll go for Sumail, but they've got the BKB going to be used here. And now think about going to the Wukong's command. Stormcrafter up into the air. Sumail now rooted. Thanks. See the Overgrowth coming out for Kotomi. Nobody did just yet. The Remnant forward. Now thinking about going to the Overgrowth once again. Kotomi, though, missed it this time. They've got the Hex. They have the Bashes. And now Sumail's going to be in a lot of trouble. They get the kill. He'll take him out for 100 seconds. Amar vacuumed into the wall. Again, not able to output any damage. God That's strength, game. normal punch. Down goes the Sven. And Entity have taken out the two cores for two minutes. Mind Control is going to try and TP out, but he's just not lucky enough to TP with no bashes coming in from Entity. They've got another bash. They're going to get another Abyssal uh, Blade, normal and punch. punch. See you later, Mind Control. <laughs> yeah, this game is done, so they can go in and uh, finish the game without Buy back on these two heroes. They just don't have what it takes. Uh, There's the GG. Yeah. Just don't have it. Entity, it felt like this game was kind of cruising at like an even level for a while, but I think Entity kind of figured out the fact that the damage just yeah. wasn't exactly there and they were able to control Amar throughout. It is about to crack level six with the next creep wave. So this is the time where they want to put the uh, some extra effort on the side lanes, mostly looking at the top lane. This is where they try to get it, maybe even before that. Ooh, Watson, now Shard's blocking him. Telekinesis throws him back. Doesn't land him on DH, DGH, so, well, Watson is going to go down to mind control. <laughs> what we said about that second point in the tag team, plus Insatiable Hunger, it's way too much damage, but it's trying Shard to plus four staff, two great items. Yeah. Hook, we'll hook out the Siege Creep. To stop the any push, we see Kataomi lurking around the mid lane as well. But GH also looking for an opening here. Fishman looks pretty dead here. Yeah, no mana for Telekinesis. He does have a couple charges on that stick. He'll use it. Better God's Wrath, though, gets the kill into Fishman. They'll end up trading GH, though, and Watson getting that first point into the fleshy. A decent trade, I'd say, for Entity. They got some. Toby. Run down, and another tornado in the alley. That's going to be first use of the bot. Toby and yeah, to travel storm. Stormer Looks coming over. Very no dead here. They do have Sumail, though. Is he dead? Never They've mind. Got Toby at about half health. Heavily jumped towards Storm Stormer. Thunder God's Wrath. And now they get the kill into the Bat Rider. They're still looking over at Toby. Toby moving forward with the Spirit Siphon. But Amar, well, he's waiting to use that Dark Pact and have that pounce. They still get the kill into Sumail. And now Blink Strike Silence onto this Sark. Sark getting really Another low. Siphon. Spirit Siphon and a Crib Swarm. And Amar falls. It, all three of them actually fall. What? Just ooh, they also pick up the bounty rune. They're getting the levels. But uh, who's gonna rotate? Amar is gonna be the one. Does have that ulti available? Rest of the team also coming in. Smells here. Stormstormer throwing out a sticky napalm and. They've got the Blink Strike, Kuroki now on the run. Crypt Swarm, Lightning Bolt from Sumail. Smoke screen on all three. So that means it's just nothing coming out from the Zeus. We'll use that Tumblr's toy as well as the Heavenly Jump to get away from they the, the side bounce. of Entity. But now Amar pouncing out of the low ground and getting away from these heroes. Meanwhile, going up towards top, they've got the Dismember on a Mind Control. Stormstormer immediately changing obje objectives, going for Mind Control with Watson. Firefly still going. That means he's able to get into the trees and find this crew mother and get a kill. Uh, Stormstormer, he's all over the place. Panel did mention that, uh, you know, everyone heard about the Stormstormer's invoker, but his Batrider has been, is, uh, well, uh, like you said. So let's see if they can be careful and uh, we'll see if uh, Enigma can kind of go about this because 
in the previous Ricky game, when they had Kuroki on the Ricky, they had themselves an Abaddon. There's not much here for Nygma like that. And well, Snowball comes in, but Amar gets caught. So he's just dead so quickly. And they're going to follow this up with a kill on a GH2. Like, it, the smoke screen just proving to be Five very difficult. Five for Amar. Another game of tips. He'll have those Dota Plus sets soon enough with all these tips. Storm Stormer top, again looking over at Mind Control. Flame Break pushing Mind Control closer to Storm Stormer. Lasso already on cooldown. And they've got the Centaur that misses the stomp, but Kuroki's here. Watson over to the side, maybe looking for a hook to find an opening. We'll see if he's able to get anything with Sumail now. Running after Storm Stormer, but here's Watson with it as member, so they don't have Zeus to do anything. End of God, smoke screen down. Zeus and can't dude, do anything without his spells. One more time. And now, Sumail just out of it, but the Blade Strike and Thunder God's Wrath aren't enough here. So Watson with another kill. He's right on top of Kuroki. They're going to get themselves a Chan. It's a double kill for the Pudge. And they continue one after the other to get these kills. Now asleep onto the Tusk, which means what? Another kill. Another smoke screen and another one. Tally to the mark here for Entity. Now this uh, smoke screen has been causing a lot of issue. This is also a fight where Nygma's Galaxy's lineup uh, was supposed to be really strong at. And as time goes, it's going to be very crucial. And it also opens up the Roche. Toby is level 12 with the Exorcism, so they can force a Roche fight with it. Yeah, this is, uh, that was all free act, which was a big issue. Lasso, the Defusal, inhibiting him. Hook actually doesn't land onto the Slark, but he's telekinesis back into the smoke screen. So he just cannot do anything pre BKB and Watson with another double kill. That's how many on the flesh sheep are at 10. Can't tell me. So very, very difficult. And now 50 seconds until next EXO. They can start uh, going for these kills one more time. Smoke hook. screen. That leads to the hook and he'll go to the ulti, but the rot with the eggs. Sark trying to run, scooped up by the snowball, but they've got the lasso. They'll follow it up. They'll get the kill. Otto Amaro look over at GH. Another smoke screen's down. Thunder God's Wrath doesn't do the damage. You get the kill to Watson. Watson. He's still, still alive with his member, but he's trying to run. He's got the Seeds of Serenity healing him up, and he has himself an Aegis anyway. So second life available for this Pudge. Flame Break lands on two. Kuroki, GH both in trouble. Snowball again pulling both heroes over, but that's going to throw him back into the smoke screen and lead to Watson with another double kill. That's three, four, ten, twenty double kills. I don't know. Nine in total, and he just picked up a the smoke, so... They've got the vision up on the cliff. Amar over to the side, hit with the hook. There's the follow-up. Not yet. He could be Hold available on him. And now looking to survive, but eventually they're going to be on Amar on the other side of the fight. They've got themselves Storm Stormer. Flame Break hits on Amar. They're going to burn him out and get the kill. That is without the lasso, without the dismember. Now they look at Kuroki. They have the Spirit Siphon and Blink Trick from Katomi. Now a smoke screen. That helps him to get closer. The hook lands from Watson. He's got another double kill. Mind control on the run, but there's the dismember from a distance, and it will be Fishman who gets the brew, stomping on this spider and squishing. If it was any other team, I would have said that uh, they call it, they understand that they missed their time. Stronger compared to Enigmas, where you have this brood mother who's trying to go into Hex. We've seen that MC did uh, some really nice things with Hex in the previous game, but uh, this time around, like. I don't think it's going to be enough. Watson lands a hook. Oh, dear. That's another dead GH. Look at how big the smoke screen is now. Of course, it's got that extra yeah, yeah, 60 smile. radius. The smile after landing that hook. It's uh, the feel-good moment. One of the best ones in Dota, for sure. You, What's the percentage on hooks hit? Do we have that? On control. Spotted. And now a couple of Fishman webs will come through. They've got the silence again, and they'll get another kill on to the brood mother. Yeah, Fishman got that uh, spin web, and now he can catch the fish himself. He can catch Slark in the web against the, like Ricky Start, the uh, lasso. But uh, in terms of damage output, they still might be limited. Ooh, asleep. Yeah, does not want to commit. Katomi dropping very low this time. Got the walrus punch and the snowball, so they finally add another kill. As now it's dangerous though. Bottom lane, Sumail hit with a flame break. They'll get that kill. Storm Stormer takes out the Zeus, Amar. Uh oh. Well, you're gonna get into the shadow dance. You've already used the depth shroud. The blink he right on top. Him. The hook hits again. Watson just never missing a hook. I'm gonna say it's 100 percent. That's what I think. He just missed one on time. He tried, uh, but uh, hit spiders a lot of the time. 
Those count. That, that hit something. It's not a whiff. It's it's a hero. Hey, you know, if you catch bait fish, you still hit a fish. Ricky. Oh, Lasso. Bar. Lasso. Can't get out of this Snowball's one. Snowball's not going to be there in time. And then Snowball all the way over to Storm Stormer in the Firefly. Shards, that's not going to be it. Katomi's here with the silence, and they'll get another kill. It is another one for Watson, who is beyond godlike. Again, still. Continue. Again, I've, I've said it once or twice already, but the, using the snowball on top of the cloud makes it uh, almost impossible. Like, you might need to blink on the edge of the cloud. Stormstormer does oh, not out. have ulti available, but uh, will pop a BKB. They're trying to keep him alive. They won't not be gonna able do to. It. Flame break. Stormstormer will be able to blink out if necessary. If he wants Ooh. to. Uh, right now, four staff though. And that's why four staffs are great. Gets him away from the brood mother. They've got eight stacks, ten stacks of the sticky napalm. Put you to sleep, put you to the grave. And Double down God -like. goes mind control. But can he get beyond godlike? That's the real question. Judging how Nigma plays, I think the answer is yes, because they're not going to GG out. They're waiting until the end. Chat, one for yes, two for no. I want to see those numbers. So Amar, ooh, hook, that one. It just it was used. It didn't miss. It just it was scouted. There they go. Dismember on Omar. They've got the silence. They'll hit a fade bolt. Watson with another kill. He still continues to be beyond godlike. He has 42 strength because of 21 stacks of flesh eat. Lasso onto this tusk. GH is going to be in a lot of trouble, but he'll snowball right onto Stormstormer, who will get another kill for Watson. Another stack for Watson. Keep the tally going. I think Watson. He has more fleshy. Holding the ages for two minutes. We'll smoke. Let's see, Kataomi. Very annoying. We'll break that Watson. smoke immediately. Blink, dismember. And they've got this tusk in trouble. They've also used the lasso. It's on the mind control over to the side. They get the kill to GH. They'll take out this fruit again. Now two heroes beyond godlike. I'm, I'm no expert by any... <laughs> That's all I get? All right. Well, at least it was a reaction. That's all I can ever ask from you. Hex now available on Stormstormer. He can initiate with the lasso. Follow it up by a Hex. They've got the lasso. They have the silence. They'll get the kill on a Sumail. They'll look over as the Blink Dismember comes through on a GH. And a hook as well. Oh, the hook hits on a Kuroki. Pull him into the snowball, but that will lead to Stormstormer getting GH. Toby getting Kuroki. And, uh, well, Entity... Getting this tier three tower over mid. Hashtag never don't give up. My favorite. Oh, hook hits again. 100%. That's going to be a sleep afterward. They've got the hex. They'll get the kill. They'll take out mind control. That's four heroes dead on the side of Migma Galaxy as this Aegis expires. Octarine core picked up by Toby. Story is for them. Everything's 50 50. Either win the fight or you don't. They're going to jump in with the Walrus Punch. They've got the snowball to follow it up. They'll go after Fishman as the BKB is going to be popping right into the dismember. So Omar is going to be controlled. He's only level 16 of the 23 of Watts. And they go to the hand of God. They've got the suit. They'll hit the hook. It's on a Sumail. Omar trying to help out this Zeus. But even with these right clicks, Watson's literally losing zero health. They'll get the kill on a Sumail. They'll look over as the Shadow Dance is going to end. He'll do the cha cha slide right into the grave as they've got themselves a second. And they will lose nothing again. Lasso, one more time at a Kuroki. GG is called, and Entity will win the series 2-0. They've had enough. They they GG'd out 45-5. Entity complete domination from the laning stage. Stormstormer on a Batrider. Like, the way he opened up the map was... Uh...